I mean, congratulations. <laughs> Probably the craziest game I've seen uh, all day. You just beat uh, Jakos Peschatz after blundering a piece yeah. on move six. Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously it was so embarrassing. Um, I could remember some game from uh, Magnus against Dink. Um, I think it was d6, queen, e2. And I remember Alirazo took on e5 and then queen h4, which wasn't so good. And Dink played something and he went like short cast. So I was like, okay, if it's not d5, then obviously bishop e7. So I immediately played it, bishop e7 and it's just a um, huge blunder, obviously. And then, yeah, I was just so lucky. Yeah, it's hard to describe. As you mentioned, you played bishop e7 very quickly. Yes. Uh, what went through your mind when he took on, on d6? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, uh, yeah, obviously, I didn't want to resign, but... Uh, uh i just went you know to the bathroom just washed my face it was just crazy like it was so like when he played f4 i saw some people like anish they came to my board and they were laughing you know it's f king's Gambit. it's it's such a line that you never expect like at least i never expect anyone any, anyone play king's Gambit, king's Gambit against me so i i was not really prepared against it it's one of those scary lines that you're like okay come on nobody's gonna play it against me and it happened I was first I was like okay great because anyways I wanted to play for win so it's a great chance after King's Gambit um, but then I started to feel like okay if you don't know it can be dangerous and uh, yeah it's just crazy like yeah yeah let's talk about what happened next in the game because it was still far from over maybe he didn't uh, he quite quickly didn't react in the best way I think so, uh, because he played bishop d3. I'm not sure if bishop d3 is the move. I think he has to take on d4. Yes, correct. So after bishop d3, I got some chances. Um, still must be winning, I don't know. But uh, it wasn't clear because we also analyzed the game after all this queen h3. Probably for engine is very easy, but uh, um, practically it wasn't that clear. And then, uh, yeah, pl probably he blundered with some, I don't know, rook g1 something. When was yeah. the moment that when you felt that the tide is turning and you're suddenly taking over? After uh, after rook g1, which he played, I'm not sure was it rook e1 first or rook g1. I think rook g1 first, and rook f8. When I start to feel that, oh, I'm not seeing any like clear win for white, then I start to feel confident because I thought probably he's also under some pressure. He doesn't see the win, and also psychologically, it's difficult for white because he just won a piece and. Uh, now he sees like uh, it's not that easy. So psychologically, it's it's difficult for him as well. So uh, after rook eight, I was feeling a bit confident. And then uh, the end of the the game, where do you think the final mistake came? When did you feel you? Uh, probably uh, when he went a four. I think rook b four was better. And after a four, probably he was just so tilted at that point. Uh, but I think he has to go like rook b four and just stay. That's that's the way to play. You talk about tilt, about the psychological uh, aspect. Would you say it's maybe the most psychologically intense game you ever played? Yeah, probably. No, probably. Um, it was crazy at first. I could not look at the people because I was feeling so embarrassed. Like in this tournament, to blunder in this way, it's just too crazy. So um, yeah, uh, I, I really couldn't look at people. But then I started to be like, OK, it's a challenge, you know. I could recall Magnus's game against Gavin Jones in this mm -hmm. in the same tournament, so I thought, okay, it's possible, you know, to turn the game, but uh, yeah, I just couldn't. I, I just couldn't handle it. Just a final question: You say you know you're embarrassed, uh, especially here we have so many spectators. Yeah. Uh, this year, let's just talk about how does it feel to you to be playing, not today, but in general, in front of uh, this big crowd. Oh, it's great. Uh, I really love. Uh, I really enjoy playing here seeing like all these top guys uh you know i was talking to a friend of mine he was telling me uh that he played in this tournament like the, the other year and uh when you look at these guys it helps you play even better chess uh, okay in this game it, in today's game it wasn't the case but uh yeah it's just it's just nice we're very happy to have you here i mean uh congrats on today <laughs> and uh, best of luck for the next round thank you